The Council of Churches Sierra Leone, CCSL, celebrates its centenary with a grand event that brought together religious leaders, government officials, and community members at the Bintumani Hotel, Abadin, in Freetown. The theme of the celebration was celebrating our past, committing to the present, and inspiring a hopeful future, which encapsulates with the Council's mission to promote unity, peace, and development in the country. The keynote speaker for the event was supposed to be the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, His Excellency President Dr. Julius Madabiu. However, due to unseen circumstances, he was represented by the Minister of Social Welfare, Melrose Karimanti, who delivered a powerful message on behalf of the President praising the Council for its contribution to the country over the past century. The Council of Churches in Sierra Leone is a Christian organization which has remained a beacon of hope eliminating the path to a brighter, a peaceful, a unified, a cohesive, tolerant, and more compassionate Sierra Leone. It is indeed a moment of great significance, which we as Sierra Leoneans must acknowledge, appreciate, and cherish. So as the Ministry of Social Welfare, with the statutory mandate of coordinating and monitoring the operations of all religious bodies in the country, let me at this point, on behalf of His Excellency, take this opportunity to congratulate the Council of Churches in Sierra Leone on this historic milestone of your centenary celebration. For a century through trials and triumphs, challenges and successes, the Council of Churches in Sierra Leone has continued to match gallantly towards the fulfillment of its mission of facilitating and capacitating its members in promoting the prophetic ministry of Jesus Christ for the benefit of the Sierra Leonean society. Other important figures who made statements at the event included representative from the Catholic Mission Sierra Leone, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Sierra Leone, the Interreligious Council of Sierra Leone, and the Mayor of the Freetown Municipality, Ivan Akisoya. Each speaker emphasized the importance of unity, tolerance, and cooperation among different religious groups in the country. One of the highlights of the event was a special campaign message against the use of Kush by Bishop John Pesima. Bishop Pesima spoke passionately about the dangers of drug abuse and called on the community to come together to combat this green problem. So we need to stand up as a nation against this dangerous evil. Kush is not a drug. It's a problem. The ill effects can be very harmful indeed. It is therefore important that the government takes administrative, legal, and policy measures that put an end to this maintenance of Kush. It is time that communities and government take a firmer view about preventing and stopping this Kush issue. As a council, Mr. Chairman, we are very much concerned. CCS therefore condemned in a very strong term those that are involved in the import of materials that are used to prepare kush. We also condemn the sale and use of kush in our communities. We therefore urge the authorities concerned to go after all those that are involved in destroying the future of our young ones through this drug. <laughs> we commit ourselves to support and join hands with government and other institutions in the fight against this evil in our society. As the Council of Churches Sierra Leone looks towards the future, the organization remains committed to promoting peace, unity, and development in the country by celebrating its past achievements, committing to its present goals, and inspiring a hopeful future. The Council continues to be a beacon of hope for the people of Sierra Leone. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.